What's up, y'all? Hey. So today we're gonna go back to some of our favorite spots here in Minneapolis, also trying something new, the fusion food. Mm -hmm. Follow along, see what we get. And we're gonna be eating in the car because everything's closed. It's for dining, but support your locals. <laughs> What did we get and where do we go? So we just pulled up from Keeper's Court Bakery and Cafe in Minneapolis. It is the best, guys. Yep, it's a mom and pop shop, so you know, we gotta stay supporting that. Mm -hmm. She put tape on there, so I don't know. the claws. Okay, I got it. <laughs> and then we got bunch of goodies right here. Buns for days. Buns for days, literally. Uh, we got the sticky rice bun, uh, we got bo uh, pork. Bun, we got barbecue bar pork, yeah, barbecue bar pork, or curry, curry beef, pork beef yeah. ham and cheese or ham and egg. Yeah, what's and then this? What we this? have uh, they have mapo tofu bun, mm -hmm. which I've never had or seen, so I got that. And then their vegan buns are very good as well. There's a barbecue vegan tofu, I think, bun. And then also, I, don't, I think it's on the bottom of there. But there's a kimchi bun too. Got so much, but we're not gonna eat this right now. We're gonna we actually got meals from there. Yeah. So what P got was a barbecue combo rice platter here. It comes with bok choy on top of rice, of course, but it's um soy chicken, roasted duck, and barbecue pork or something like mm -hmm. that. There's three different types of protein, yeah. but it's all very, very good. Yes. He's been dreaming about this. Oh yeah, I miss it so much. <laughs> All right, what'd you get, babe? You know what I got? I asked the kind lady there that was working. Asked her what did she recommend. I wanted some noodles. That's what I got last time, but that's not ideal to eat in the car. But this looks and sounds really good. It does it's look really a good. tomato sauce with pork on top of rice. It looks very saucy, like she said. It looks very homey, mm -hmm. but it's steaming hot. It smells really good. Oh yeah. So I can't wait to try this. All right. She recommended it too. Okay, so I'm gonna try this. Steaming hot. I don't know how to do this. This pork is freaking huge. I got mine. Oh yeah, I'm so excited. Oh my god. Got the pork. I love pork. Oh man. So good. Then we got duck. I love duck. I love duck. The duck is nice and tender, gelatinous. Wow, so fatty. Lots of flavor in there. Oh my god. This is what I've been missing. The pork is so soft. I wish it was smaller, but I'm not complaining. They gave me a lot with the rice, and it is very saucy. I love it. So, P likes this dish it's called Hawaiian sausage. If you've been following along, you've probably seen us make it at one point. But uh -huh. if not, go back and check out that video. Mm -hmm. I'll try to tag it in here somewhere, but if not. <laughs> but it's a tomato based sauce and you cut up andouille sausage in it with peppers, bell peppers and onions. And what makes it Hawaiian is it uh, oh, yeah. It asks for pineapple juice and pineapple bits. Very good. So we're gonna get some banh mi from a mom pop shop. One of the best banh mi's that we, we found throughout the search that we've been looking for in Minnesota. So far. <laughs> so far. <laughs> right, so we just ran real quick into Walmart to see if they have any Pokemon cards, but they don't have any Pokemon cards. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got. I was gonna spend all my money, and she won't be able to eat. Guys, seriously, on a serious note. I cannot tell you guys how many times a day this entire week alone I have been to Target. In one day, I made four trips to two Targets. No, no, no we didn't. We didn't do that. We didn't do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then a Walmart that day too. We were gonna go to, a, did we go to the second Walmart that same day? No, we didn't go to the second Walmart that day. Jesus Christ, but every single day we either went to like two Walmarts or Walmart and Target <laughs> Or two Walmarts and two Targets. I don't know. Every single day is something. It's fun, you know. The hunt is fun. But anyways, now we're gonna head out to uh, IKEA. Mm -hmm. yeah. See if we can get those light bulbs. 
in a new lamp too. So you broke mine. Remember? Oh yeah, I broke her lamp. Because he freaking over here reenacting his dream, I think, one night. What? And he swung his arm and broke it. Maybe I don't know. So we're looking at new coffee tables. We're thinking of this one. Because that's wheels. It's kind of nice. It has wheels. It's kind of cool. Kind of like our island. We can move it. But the only sad thing is that Yuna can't hide under here now. It's so sad. It's good. I'm sick of her hiding under stuff. I can't reach her. <laughs> he moves the table and pulls her out all the time and annoys her. Yep. I love it. But yeah, so she's... She's she probably go in under here. Yeah, maybe. We can put her bed up here so this would be her new little nook and move her around. But yeah, we're looking at coffee tables right now. We'll see if we find one. But so far, we're attracted to this one. We found the light bulb. Oh, wait, where is it? Oh, here. <laughs> wait, where is it? We found these ones. Came here all the way for these little things. Yeah, and then I broke Lily's lamp, so we got one more of these. Yeah, got that. And if you guys have an IKEA next to y'all, recommend getting one of these little electric milk frothers to help you mix things or in our protein. Ooh. Yeah. I'm gonna mix it. Use this to mix my lattes or teas. A little easy thing. Oh yeah, we got bowls. We got little, cute little bowls. We have, we have plastic ones at home that is always, is always used. But we need to upgrade and get actual plates and bowls, nicer ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it. We're not gonna get furniture this time around. What is this for? Next time. A drainer for like my noodles and vegetables and stuff. It, it collapses and it's easy store. Bombay Pizza Kitchen and I've been following them on Instagram for a while and what they are they're Indian inspired pizza pizzeria kitchen and that's very interesting that's like our two loves conjoined so that's pretty cool and so what we got was the butter chicken marsala pizza right yep and it looks really good oh yeah it smells it's really delicious. good too my mouth is like watering <laughs> <laughs> I was wearing my mask walking out of it I'll hold on to this one. and I was like, oh my god, that smells this already. Well, and this, this is a coconut like curry with the shrimp. And the guy recommended this to me. So hopefully this it looks really good. It smells really good too. Mm -hmm. It smells good. Gonna... We gotta head home first and then we're gonna eat it. We to can't our, eat it right now. To our baby. Yeah. You know, probably, yeah, we miss her so much. Yeah. So we Anyways. gotta go home and sadly she cannot enjoy this with us. <laughs> she can watch us enjoy it. That's right. Alright, we'll see you guys at home. Who's that? Oh, baby. Who's that little baby? Hmm? <laughs> Hi. Oh my gosh. You're gonna knock your water bowl over. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, you just stepped in your water. <laughs> Poor girl. Hi. Hi. Oh, <laughs> You did that. Hi, Because she plopped in her water bowl. I told you. I told you you're going to. Hi. Hi. Hi, big baby. So you have to come home to every day. <laughs> oh my gosh. So shaking that water off? Shake it out. Shake that water off? Say hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Oh. <laughs> what do you want, huh? What do you want? Hi! <laughs> Cutie. We're gonna put some stuff up though and show y'all a review of how the pizza is. Hey guys, so this is the bun mi sandwich that we got earlier that we didn't get to show you. But that's one of the good ones that we like and... What? Hi! What are you doing, baby? Hello. Hey, would you like some bun mi? <laughs> Anyways, 
I got a uh, pork chop, right, babe? Is it pork chop? Yeah, pork chop with lemongrass. Yeah, okay, pork chop with lemongrass. And yeah, I'm gonna dig into this. So, highly recommended. I forgot what it's called. What is it called? Mi Hung Kitchen. Mi Hung Kitchen, yes. Really good. And it's, the price is pretty decent too, right? It's like $4.50. Four, four. And that's like the most reasonable price one that we've seen. All right, we just got the pizza out the oven. Had to, had to warm them up, you know what I mean, a little bit. And we got another one out the oven right here. <laughs> she's not out the oven, she's okay. out the, the crazy cage. Okay, you're right, the crazy cage. She's gonna eat. Yeah, she is. Her heart's because she's sniffing like crazy. Yeah, you ain't getting nothing, no, Missy. I know her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lily was, Lily was crying when we were leaving. Because she's like, this is the first time I ever left her. Like, that we're long. so long. And so far, like usually I'm like within a 10 minute radius from her. So with, if that, anything happens, then I'm home or like P and I shift would change. So we wouldn't be home away from her for more than four hours ish or three hours. But knowing that I'm like an hour and a half or so. Okay. Like I want to take her along with our joys, but she doesn't care. Look at that. She has her food up there for me. Snooping around. Right. Yeah. Anyway. What are you gonna try first? I'm gonna try the one, so P and I both picked our own pizzas. Yeah. Well, not picked, our own, but I mean, we picked, picked one. Yeah, we yeah. both picked one. I picked that one right there. I'm gonna try this one. Yeah, this one has a one. shrimp on it, and it's with a coconut curry. Ooh, look at that. And I asked yeah. What the, is it called again? Sorry. It's a coconut. Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> what is it called again? So I got the Kerala coconut pizza and it has shrimp, corn, the coconut based curry sauce on it, and a bunch of other goodies. Um, I asked the guy who was helping me on the phone whenever I placed the order what he recommended. He said this for sure, and it looks really good. Let's try. Mm. 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 The bottom of the pizza, super crispy. Like as soon as I bit through it, the Top layer and the middle layer is soft because of the sauce and everything. The bottom piece, perfect crust. The sauce, I can't put my finger on it. There's definitely a coconut curry flavor to it. But with the corn and the shrimp, it's so interesting, but it's so good. Like, it, I don't know how to explain it. It reminds me just of a traditional Indian cuisine that we would eat at a restaurant, but it's in pizza form, so it's like easy to eat on the go. Can I have some food, please? Please, can I have some food? Mom's being mean to her. I gave her a treat earlier. She's like, Mom, I don't see no food. Papa, you better touch. Tell her to give me some food. <laughs> so I ordered a Bombay butter masala. Mm -hmm. With chicken. With chicken, yeah. They had like this uh, vegetarian uh, option too, but I like chicken. So. He had the option to choose tandoori chicken or the paneer, yeah, paneer something. Or something. It's a know. vegan, yeah, it's a yeah. vegan option though. The same uh, as mine, I have the option to choose shrimp or the vegan option as well. It's so interesting because mm -hmm. whenever you buy into a pizza, you automatically assume to taste the tomato paste. Yeah, there's no tomato paste. Mm -hmm. I think it's like, it looks like a curry paste. Mm -hmm. or, Most Indian dishes are yeah, curry. Yeah, so, wow, man. But like she said, it's like uh, something we would eat in an Indian restaurant. Mm -hmm. In pizza form. Um, chicken's good, really tender, a little crispy, because we put it in the oven a little more. Mm -hmm. um, what else? They got some, I think that's uh, cilantro on there. That's really good. I love cilantro. Some type of greens. Yeah. Looks like cilantro, no, don't, don't it? This looks like <laughs> So it's a Bombay butter marsala. It has tomato, cashew cream, yogurt drizzle, mm. cilantro, and tandoori, tandoori chicken. Mm -hmm. And then mine was a coconut curry with sweet corn, um, red onions, shrimp. spicy coconut peanut gunpowder, mm. scallions, and marsala shrimp. Shrimp, yeah. But very good. unique. Mm -hmm. I like it. Their menu had like a wide array of Indian inspired or Indian 
cuisines mixed with an American twist. Like they had chicken wings, they also had curry bowls, and you can mix and match exactly like what type of protein, sauce, yeah. and filling, like fillings that you want in it. So it's really nice. They had um, noodles as well. I'm try that next time. Yeah. You guys know how I love my noodles. But so it's really cool they have so many options. Like they got pizza, they got noodles, they got they got chicken wings, they too. got curry bowls, they got chicken wings. They, yeah, they have like a Indian inspired or flavored Indian chicken wings there and their appetizers there as well. They have, um, I forgot, uh, like a Marsala type of fries, like loaded fries. It looked really good, so we're gonna have to try that next time. But the pizza, definitely recommend. Yeah, we were, we were hungry for some pizza and Indian food. So we're like, why not? Oh, yeah. So, Glad you tried it though. We're gonna watch a show called Utopia. Mm -hmm. It's about like, I don't know, these um, nerdy people, I think. They, um, nothing wrong with nerdy. Hey, nothing wrong with nerdy. <laughs> it's just like they're into comic books and stuff like that, and they find out about some conspiracy that's really happening in reality, and they're pooping up. But um, that's from what we have read in the summer so far. You know why you biting my toe, girl? <laughs> she likes that toe jam. <laughs> but anyways, we're gonna end the vlog here. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys enjoyed our little trip. Have a good Sunday. Peace. See y'all next time.